Hi, we are going to explore an old school technique on how to take a watercolor brush and make it a more comfortable inking tool. Cartoonists generally like to use a number four Windsor Newton watercolor brush. And watercolor brushes tend to be very narrow in the barrel, which makes them sometimes difficult to hold for endless periods of time while you're doing difficult inking work. Rudy Nebris, a famous uh, Filipino artist um, whose work was really popular in the 70s and 80s, um, taught me how to graft the watercolor brush with the good old-fashioned flare felt tip pen to make a much more comfortable inking tool. And we're going to talk about how to do that right now. Now, as you can see, the flare tip pen, take the lid off there, is a lot thicker than the watercolor brush and a lot easier to hold in your hand. Now obviously this felt tip pen is well used and that's what you want. You don't want a good one, not that they aren't that expensive or anything, but we're going to take this pen and we're going to gut it and we're going to put the paintbrush inside. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get a pair of pliers. And we're going to grab that tip and we're going to remove it as best we can. There you go. And you can see the little felt part inside. And we're going to set that aside because it should be pretty dried out. But it's probably going to be a little bit messy. Now on the other end there's a cap. And we're going to grab the cap. The cap is held in by a small pin. Pull that out and you want to um, take the little pin and just squish it in because that's going to make it harder to put it back in. And we'll set that aside. Now we have the barrel of the pen. If you look inside, there's still a big felt tip um, piece in there. So we'll get a narrow screwdriver or a um, or a wire. Push that out. We'll pull out the insides of the pen. Set that aside. So now you have a hollow tube for which we're going to put our paintbrush in. Now you want to be careful when you take the paintbrush that when you push it in you don't damage the, the hairs on the brush. And just slide it inside and work it out to the end there. Can you see how the brush is coming out? And it's in there nice and snug. And as we get to the top, we don't really want all that sticking out. We're going to cut that off. And we're going to make a mark. So we take an exacto knife. Make the mark right at the top there. Now we're going to pull that pen out, that brush back out, and we're going to cut off that excess piece right there. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to, there's a space from the tip of the cap, there's about maybe a half an inch of it in there that we're going to shorten our brush to that point. So make a little mark right to about there, and that's where we're going to cut the brush. And you can use an X-Acto knife, since the brushes are thin. And score that brush, and it probably will snap right in half. Right there, okay? Can you see how we took off the top of that brush? And again, carefully, that's an old trick and untaught me, lick the hairs of the brush, pull them back through, and we're going to take our cap, put it back on, and now we have a paintbrush that's got a much more comfortable grip than it would have had if it was just a plain old watercolor brush. See 
do that. Simple tip that Rudy Nebers taught me around 1980, I want to say. And, of course, nowadays, uh, pen brushes are all over the place. Uh, nylon tip pen brushes that um, are based on the same premise. But this is old school, and that's what we're here to talk about. Old school techniques to make making comic books easier.